Okay, in this video, I want to talk about some performance improvements to the large language model engine VLLM that are particularly aimed at the Jetson 4. So NVIDIA has released a new update to the VLLM engine with performance gains for generative AI. This is a software update that is better optimized for the Jetson 4, and that's including things like flash infer support, Xformers uh, integration and other optimizations that bring a significant speed improvement. NVIDIA's software stack is just as important as its hardware and NVIDIA is committed to frequent software optimizations and this new release just a few weeks after the initial release of the Jetson 4 and its software stack is proof in its continued effort to bring out the best in the hardware by offering the best software. So just a quick reminder, I did a whole video review of the Jetson 4 development kit. So in the development kit, you get a NVIDIA Jetson T5000, which has got the Blackwell GPU in it. It's also got 14 uh, ARM Neoverse V3 cores, 128 gigabytes of memory. You've got a one terabyte SD card, whole bunch of connectivity, including Wi-Fi 6, five gigabit ethernet, USB, DisplayPort, HDMI, and so on. Got all of this in a review here on this channel. Quick look through the specs. So that GPU has got 2,560 Blackwell GPU cores, uh, CUDA cores really, and it's got 96 fifth generation tensor cores. You've got that 14 core ARM Neoverse version three CPU, as I said, 128 gigabytes of memory, one terabyte of storage. You've got that five gigabit ethernet connector, HDMI display port, and so on. And it draws between 40 and 130 watts, depending on the power settings that you are using. Now with 128 gigabytes of RAM and 2,560 CUDA cores and 14 ARM cores, then the Jetson 4 is ideal for running large language models. It's also good at serving large language models to multiple users simultaneously using systems like VLLM. And that's where VLLM comes into its own, different to other large language model engines, in that this can serve multiple users at the same time. So VLLM is an open source, high throughput inference server that optimizes large language model serving. It uses techniques such as paged attention and dynamic batching to manage GPU memory efficiently and therefore increase the throughput for generative AI applications. So let's go straight into some numbers. I've got these numbers from my own testing using the Jetson 4 I have here. Now, let's just explain. This is with Llama 3.3. That's a 70 billion parameter model. So it takes 43 gigabytes of RAM. And if you just have one connection, just a single connection, in the original release of the software, which was just a few weeks ago, you got 4.7 tokens per second. But in this new release, you're now getting 6.2 tokens per second. So that's 1.3 times faster. Now, if we go on to Llama 3.1, it's a much smaller model, eight billion parameters, takes just five gigabytes of memory, and you have eight concurrent connections. So there are eight users all connecting to the four are asking questions and NVIDIA have got some benchmarking tools that can simulate this. In the original release, you've got 145 tokens per second. That's the uh, total number of tokens given across all eight uh, connections. And that now jumps up to 210 uh, tokens per second. So following that other uplift we saw earlier, that's a 1.4 times faster improvement. And the real improvement we see in the next test, so this is back to Llama 3.3, 70 billion, 43 gigabytes of RAM, eight simultaneous connections, used to get 12.5 uh, tokens per second total across all of the uh, simultaneous connections. That's now gone up to 41.2, absolutely massive leap. So that's a 3.3x leap in performance. So basically when you have a bigger model, 43 gigabytes in RAM and more concurrent connections, that's when you see the most increase in the tokens per second. Of course, there are also increases as I've shown in other scenarios, but the biggest one is large amounts of memory, large number of connections. You're getting that huge jump there in the number of tokens per second. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and that's it. I'll see you in the next one.